Back again, everyone. This is uh, Computer Science 0478 IGCSE, uh, the pre release material pseudocode solution, October November uh, 2020. The paper is 2 1. In the previous video, I explained the introduction to the material and also the logic behind the solution. In this video, I'm going to continue the main uh, task here, which is task 1 pseudocode solution. Um, as we uh, like discussed in the previous video that we have um, a car insurance system and we need to get the user input here uh, for the engine size and you have here some uh, parameters for the value of the car and also we have here some uh, parameters uh, then where car is kept overnight okay and number of kilometers uh, driven a year and age of the driver and then years insured without an insurance claim this is table one and this is table two uh, which is separate than table one from table one uh, the requirements here uh, to calculate the actual price and how it is calculated in uh, the three points here we need first to find the total of the percentage changes for the customer using table one. So of uh, table one here, we need to find the percentage change for every parameter here for the engine of the uh, of the car, and then the value in thousands of dollars, and then where car is kept overnight. So we need to to find out the submission, the total of percentage change here for every. Uh, parameter okay then applying this total percentage uh, change to the starting price of the car insurance the starting price here of the car insurance is 500 so we need to uh, uh, calculate the price uh, change here find the total and then multiply it by the uh, starting price of insurance and then the third point here, applying the years without claims, without claim discount percentage for the customer using table two. After finding out uh, the uh, insurance price from table one, the percentage of uh, change uh, multiplied by the basic uh, price, then we will have, we'll get a value. This value should be also uh, multiplied by the uh, price change according to the number of years uh, that uh, driver achieved without any claim okay now uh, as usual for the pre-release material we have three tasks task one task two task three the the main task here which uh, has like uh, uh, more than like 70 percent of the solution is task one and then we we are here uh, we are required here to extend task one to uh, achieve task two, and then also extra extension to uh, achieve task three. Task one here is asking about to about uh, writing a program to obtain a required information from a customer and calculate the price to ensure the car, and then display the price to ensure the car and then display the total percentage change calculated from table one and the years without claim change uh, discount change uh, percentage from table two separately so uh, at the end your uh, solution should appear like this i made a program here uh, using uh, like a vb.net you are free to use uh, vb.net or python as usual so now the program will appear like this at the beginning here like a welcome message no need for this and then input the engine size of a car which is which is available here the engine size the engine size could be one of these four values okay of uh, this range of values and according to this you will have a percentage uh, which is the price change now let's say that uh, 
the value of uh, engine size is let's say it's uh, 1.5 now the price change is 5% is this correct yes I made this just to make sure that uh, the system is responding according to my input and then the second value here is to input the value in dollars so the value in thousands of dollars here let's say that it is uh, three thousand let's say it's three because the value should be in um, um, these uh, values and then uh, multiply it in thousand so the value here is three now the percentage should be also plus five percent that's correct and then where car is kept overnight you should type garage drive or uh, street let's say street and then we, we should enter the value also it's five uh, percent then uh, input number of uh, kilometers driven uh, each year let's say uh, it is five which is five thousand okay is this correct yes because the price change is five thousand so zero percent now what is the age of the driver the age of the driver let's input the age of the driver according to the table here which uh, could be like for example 27 let's input the value of let's input here the value of the age of the driver for example here uh, 27 the price change is uh, 95 percent yes input years uh, insured without an insurance from table 2 the separate table 2 it could be one of these values from 1 to 6 or more than 6 if it's more than 6 it's going to stay like 70 percent whatever the value of years let's say the value of years here without a claim it is 4 now these values should appear for us at the end um, discount uh, of 40 percent the total percentage change uh, from table uh, from table one is 50 percent which is the addition of all the price changes and then the price to ensure the car is 750 the years without claim discount percentage from table two is 50 percent also uh, and then amount of money saved is 375 this is a uh, task uh, two and three the percentage to ensure after applying the years without claim discount as uh, from table two is 375 uh, now let's get back to our solution of task one uh, task one is asking for five points here point number one obtain the required required information from the customer and number two calculate the price to ensure the car number three display the price to ensure the uh, the car and then number four also to display the total percentage change calculated from table one and the last point here which is uh, also displaying the years without uh, claim discount percentage we need to calculate the percentage uh, percentage here according to the number of years without claim from table two separately make sure it's a separate uh, printing or output now our main question here how to calculate the price to ensure the uh, car uh, it's a given here uh, the question the pre of the pre-release is telling us how to, to how to do this and the first point we need first to find all the percentage changes from the customer using table one and then applying this total percentage change to the uh, starting price of the car insurance and then at the end applying the years without claim discount uh, percentage for the customer using table two the, the first point here which is obtaining the required information from the user okay how to what are the requirement required information from the user we have here 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, five of them are from table one till this point, and then this point, the last one from table two. So table one, we need to get the user input of the engine size. Okay, how by uh, writing the prompt a prompt message we call this a prompt user prompt it must be uh, available uh, visible in your solution so uh, you get the mark of uh, prompting the user and then we will use the input uh, word here keyword and uh, to store the anything the user will input here and we call this as a variable so later on we need to declare some variables before using uh, before using them now this is point number one point number two value of a car how to input value of the car how to input value of the car by pressing here so here we also are going to prompt the user to input the value in thousands of a, a car so this is the uh, point number three, uh, sorry, point number two. So the value uh, thousands. So the user will input, for example, three, and this three is uh, considered as three thousand. And then a print where card is kept overnight. This is the uh, point, num point number three. So the user will input in garage or uh, drive or uh, street, and this value here should be stored in this variable also so as you can see here the value the the value here is a string also this one also this one so make sure that uh, this variable is declared as string otherwise it's going to be a type mismatch or an error and in, um, in the input input and then uh, also we need to input number of kilometers uh, driven a year this is number four okay and also this the user will input a value let's say four so this four will be stored in this variable so we should also uh, ask the user to input a uh, number of kilometers and this is going to be stored in this variable uh, uh, since this is like a whole number this is a whole number so the value could be integer or it's it's safer here to declare this as a real real number so because the value could be like 4.5 or 4.2 and so on okay uh, then point number uh, five here which is the age of the driver the age of the driver also could be uh, like uh, ranging from 18 up to uh, the value in the, in the table Okay, it could be 18, could be 27, could be 38, whatever value is, but it shouldn't be less than uh, 18, so it's uh, 18 or, or more. Okay, now uh, also here we need to prompt the user to input the number of years without claim. So the user will input, for example, uh, three years without claim, so this value will be stored in this variable so this variable should be declared as also like integer uh, so it can be stored here in this variable so the variables that we might need here to declare how to declare a variable we already know that we have a method here to declare a variable we have two types of uh, uh, like data types here or uh, when we declare a variable we can declare the variable by using the uh, word declare and then the variable name and then as the data type okay let's say for example declare engine size declare engine size as real so the engine size since it's going to accept data with decimal points so it's uh, a good practice here to declare that as as real otherwise it's going to show a uh, an error message if this value if the value that we are going to store inside uh, uh, this name 
it's a constant value so we declare this type as const const start price because the start in uh, price for car insurance is 500 so this value will never change uh, through the uh, program okay we have many uh, variables here like we will have declare price uh, to ensure the this is the price we need to store the value uh, which is the total value for car insurance and then uh, value in uh, thousands this is the value of the car kept overnight as a string this is the uh, where the car is kept overnight like a garage or street or uh, a drive uh, kilometers driven a year this is a, a real uh, data type also the drive age could be real also since the age could be like 24.7 years no claim this is an integer could be like one or two or three or four and so on uh, no claim price uh, change percentage so the, this is the percentage where we will store the the values of percentage whether it's a 60 percent 70 percent 10 percent 20 percent and so on okay after the user uh, chooses them uh, at the beginning here we have some options whether it's uh, 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 percent for uh, the car insurance without uh, without claim so we declared here an uh, an array as we know that the, the array is declared like this declare then the array name and then square brackets as integer so the data type here is integer and these square brackets is differentiating uh, the variable uh, from the uh, array and then here we are going to store these values inside the array which is representing the percentage so it's 10 percent for the first year or 20 percent for the second year without claim 30 percent 40 percent 50 60 70 and so on so um, i prefer to use an array here since in the exam it might ask you to uh, declare an array or ask you what type of arrays that you have used uh, 